Yeah, hello. Welcome to the Space in Between, our new format from the NAR Collective. I'm Marie Anton, and today we are we're streaming live again, um, and we have a special guest, Joel Holmes. Um, and we're gonna have a little interview with him later to talk about his new album, Into the Abyss on Cryptox.
Welcome to the space in between here, right here in Sonar Collective Office Studio. That was Marianne Tone on the decks, our host for today. Our special guest is Joel Holmes. We just heard his track, Broken Styles. Hello, Joel. How are you? Good. Thank you, Daniel. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me here. Yeah. So um, what do we hear just now? What was that? We just heard Broken Styles featuring Tenderlonius on flute and Roberto Manzin on saxophone. Um, it's an original composition. Okay, so um, today your new album came out, right? Yes, Into the Abyss. Today's the release date. Yeah. On Cryptox on Records. Cryptox, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so you've been in Berlin for quite a while, right? Yes, nine years now. Yeah. Okay, and I heard um, it came from Ukraine. Yeah, I was living in Ukraine actually before I came to Berlin, and um, then the revolution began, and I was there for most of that. Then I decided to leave because of the circumstances. Okay, that's crazy, yeah. 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 So what, you you were playing all over Ukraine? All over Ukraine, especially the east, and uh, some places that are not around anymore, but um, special places definitely in my heart. So. And um, you're from the States, right? Yep, from the States, Baltimore, D.C. region. Okay, I love D.C. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> we just talked about our mutual love for go-go go music. Go-go. So let's see if that album is going to come up soon. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. But let's talk about more about your album, maybe hear another tune soon. Um, so the musicians on the album are from Berlin or mostly or? Mostly in Berlin. Um, a few are in the U.K. and two are in the U.S., um, I heard of you the first time when you were playing with the Carl Craig Synthesizer Ensemble. Um, I thought you were more of a classical jazz musician, like trio, like hard bop, or, or, or how did it come to this electronic move? Well, when I came to Berlin, um, I was observing what was happening here in the electronic scene, and within a year or two, I got bit by the electronic bug, so my interest was already there. I heard minimum techno and kind of hit me, and then once I joined the Carl Craig Synthesizer Ensemble, um, yeah, basically it hit me on stage on one performance in France, in Paris, and uh, I just understood I had an awakening, basically, that I should produce it and make, the, make electronic, techno, and house. Yeah. Okay, cool. But um, I, I think that Matthias, who, who runs Cryptox, he, he's always looking for the soul in the electronic music. For sure. <laughs> uh, you are on that mission as well? Yes, indeed. Always trying to bring um, the soulish elements, um, ancestral elements into it, jazz elements, funky, anything that's coming from my ancestry. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, let's have some more listen to more of your music now, and then we're going to come right back again. Cool.
Welcome back to the space in between. We have Joel Holmes here in the Sonar Collective studio for an interview. Joel, so um, you made that, you had that moment in Paris with the synthesizer ensemble. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, coming to Berlin is, is for a lot of people an interesting moment, <laughs> I yes. think. Um, um, but that moment coming to Berlin was before the synthesizer ensemble, I assume. Uh, how did you get into the scene in, in Berlin? How did Berlin um, uh, like you when you came? <laughs> well, I first <clears throat> came into the jazz scene, was checking out the local scene here, and um, but I noticed that the electronic scene was very hot. And so I had to eventually adjust and open my mind up to not focusing only on jazz, traditional jazz, but to expand my mind. So. Um, I began to just watch several DJs in the scene, check out live acts. It's not a big scene um, in the U.S. like it is here. So I was exposed to um, analog instruments and a whole lot of things that just like changed my perception of sound design and how I wanted to make my compositions and including future performances. But you're, you're, you're like a trained musician, right? I mean, yes. you came from conservatory in, mm -hmm. was it Baltimore, right? Yep, Peabody Conservatory in Baltimore. And you're teaching as well. Teaching as well, yeah, and I was a professor also, yeah. Like a key, I mean, you're teaching piano, I mean, playing and composition as well? Sometimes, but mostly um, piano. Okay, so, but then that's a different, that's, you know, that's the the, the university world and things like that. Yeah. And you came to the Berlin scene, you started, you know, playing in jams, you created your own jam, I yeah, heard? Yeah, the Urban Bass Jam, and we have the Urban Bass community still alive, and um, the jam has been stopped since COVID times, but... Uh, the music lives on, and you can hear that through uh, the new release. And did you met a lot of musicians in Berlin then, from all over the world, or? Tons of musicians, and um, we would have features. So um, saxophone player from Amy Winehouse's group came, one guy from The Roots, different people from all over um, the world heard about it, including um, Erica Badu's band. They came by and jammed with us. Um, so yeah, it's just, it started making noise, and um, it was kind of a unique thing that was here, Yeah, the sound in the community and the love vibes and the whole thing together yeah and but how did you get on the label of cryptox records then well through uh, matthias with toytonics um he discovered us me and cody curry um we were both um working on house music and i think it was through social media actually instagram he saw one of our videos um wrote me and we decided to meet and we started planning the future of um how i can do the house thing which i love now and um infusing that with jazz and then he had this new label with cryptox where i can explore more of the future jazz sound which is not traditional but it also is crossover of dance music as well and um, electronic sounds you can you have way more freedom um so yeah there's no parameters or anything in that sense Whereas the toy tonics, you would do more house, disco house thing, pretty much. So, um, yeah, we've been planning this for a couple of years now, and um, it's been well. We have a few vinyls on toy tonics, and obviously today a new vinyl with um, Into the Abyss with the Cryptox label. That just came out today, right? Yeah, today. So, right. so put it in your playlist, stream it, support Joel Holmes. Um, so you have a live band, you're playing with that band. Are, are we going to hear this show? Yes, you will. Um, tomorrow we play at So Haida at Heidi Gluen, and uh, we start at six thirty. Heidi Gluen's one of my favorite house music clubs, um, but we start from six thirty till eight p.m. tomorrow night. That's a very very special place, actually, Heidi Gluen. Yeah. yeah. Woody curating amazing program out there. Shout out to Woody and Julian. Yeah, we, yeah <laughs> Woody, amazing. Um, you're also playing for Sonar Collective events at Senna yes. in June. Yes. Uh, June third, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, alongside Marianne, who's hosting the show here tonight, right? Yes. yes. And uh, Mika Miami, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, Joel, um, is it like uh, for you, Berlin? Is it home? It's one of my major homes <laughs> now. <laughs> I've been here the longest out of all the places I've lived. And um, it's a good foundation base, Central Europe and uh, Central Europe, and just the uh, community itself. I think it's like the music capital of Europe. And um, been here nine years, so I'm happy to be here. But don't you miss like playing with all these famous musicians in the U.S. and you know, you know that was a big get a career there as well. 
I do miss that in some ways. Um, it's special in my heart. It's like constellations in my universe, so it doesn't leave me. It's still with me. I can always play back in my head. <laughs> and those memories, I mean, if I go to U.S. now, it could be very different. The times have changed. Um, I'm sure I would do very well there. But things are different now. So mm -hmm. I'm glad to have paved my own path and my own way. And I'm not sure I would be able to do that being in the States because of how busy I would already be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I saw you the first time last year at the X-Jazz Festival, mm -hmm. which I co-curate. Um, I hope we're going to see you uh, around as well next week. For all the listeners, X-Jazz is happening on Monday. It's one of the last shows for Roy Ayers. Anyone Ooh. who wants to go, there's still tickets at Huxley's. It's going to be. And there's still tickets available for the Festival X-Jazz 2023 in Kreuzberg. Um, so, Joel, you want to say anything else to, the, to our crew out there? Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to all the musicians who um, and collaborators, co-producers, um, Vernon the German, who's who co-produced this album with me through post-production, Jasper Sala also um, co-produced, and all the musicians, there's a lot of them, uh, To Go Go, Desney Bailey that's on vocals, um, Delgin Allen, Corey Baker, William Henderson on trumpet as well, um, Eldar Zolikov on saxophone, um, To Go Go, we have a lot of people on this, and Tenderlonius as well, so... Uh, also, Michael Acker and um, Felix Lehrman on drums. Amazing. Joel, thank you for coming out to our new radio show, The Space in Between, here at the Sonar Collective office. Let's hear one more tune off the album. Let's hear The Universe. Thanks. Thanks for coming out, Joel.
it's always the same, never could deny, not for us, not for us, I see my face reflected in the wood, steady walls between
from an elegant city.
when your mind is free, where it resides, why are we getting wiser? We find the line in things in what we define, what we define, where it derives, where it derives. Who's a designer? Ooh. We find the finer things when your mind is free. Wonder where it resides, where it resides. Why are we getting wiser? Why we find the finer things in life. What I see can only speak on what we've been told. Some of them say that seeing's believing, but my eyes are not all I own. Looks can be deceiving, cause you can only believe in what you don't know. And so I wonder with a mind wide open, never hiding, hoping. I recognize my notions, a drop in a finite ocean. The vibe so potent, whoa. Mind explosion, bro. The finest focus only aligns with golden souls. That's not alchemy. I'm bouncing and out of the boundaries without an amount of a doubt in me. Cause what I do so profound, and I know what goes around will come around when I count in my outer reach. Out did you from the ground to the mountain peak? I did you to match what surrounds what we define? Where it derives? Who's a designer? We find the finer things when your mind is free. Where it resides? Why are we getting wiser? We find the finer things. What we define, where it derives, who's a designer, we find the finer things. When your mind is free, wonder where it resides, why are we getting wiser, we find the finer things in life. guesses and evidence i reject the collective etiquette stinks of selective intelligence my bread of the rules are too delicate so i neglect to protect the definite i'm never so errorless ever so generous said it so eloquent leading life so effortlessly easy many want to disagree believe me said i know what i'm about but not really they perceive me how to see me no one already dreamed without deep sleep can't chase my dreams only once weekly how'd we be if life wasn't a freebie we're becoming a dangerous species we never know whether life is more or less expensive there's less interest from the less invested my sentences make senses we gain a new perspective from lending lenses we're inventing ways of ascending it gets pretentious when they're pretending there's no pressure to know better there's no contention when you're content with what we define what we define where it derives who's a designer we find the finest things when your mind is free where it resides why we getting wiser we find the finest things what we define, where it derives, who's a designer, we find the finer things, when your mind is free, wonder where it resides, why we get it wiser, we find the finer things in, what we define, where it derives, who's a Thank you. 
that was the space in between our first show on Zona Collective Radio. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it again very soon. And uh, I want to say thank you to Joel for being our guest tonight uh, today. Thank you so much, and Daniel uh, from our crew for doing the interview. Uh, we see us soon, and I'm gonna play one more song of his um, new album. The track is Troublesome from Joel's album Into the Abyss. Much fun. You should not go looking for trouble in your condition. Troublesome. Troublesome. 